Um, I was born in Bundaberg, Queensland, and I grew up around the beach, so obviously my mum and dad wanted to teach me how to swim for water safety. And ever since then, um, I've just loved swimming and being in the water. I'd always be at swim meets on the weekend and then at the beach, so that's where my love for swimming first started. Um, I'm here pretty much every day, except for Sunday. I usually do um, nine pool sessions a week, and also two gym sessions. And they're two to two and a half hours long, the pool sessions, and just an hour gym. I'll wake up about five o'clock, come into the pool, um, two hours of training there, probably get 7K under my belt, go back home, have breakfast, maybe even get a quick sleep in before a class, a lecture, then um, lunch and afternoon tea, have something to eat and come back here at four o'clock, do it all again. I chose Bachelor of Journalism. I started in 2010. Um, I've been doing part-time since then. And I'm due to finish this year. I chose journalism because it's interesting, find out new things, meet new people, and I, I want to stay in like the sport side of journalism as well. And I mean, I already know so many people in swimming and things like that, so I think it'd be a good stepping stone after I'm finished with my swimming myself. Yeah, I mean, whenever I have a break, I'm kind of just like itching to get back in the water. But yeah, it's kind of like, it's relaxing, even though, I mean, it's training, but it's just, you feel good after. Well, she's, you have to have enough latent talent, and she has a good affinity with the water. Uh, she's disciplined. Her probably her best attribute uh, is her persistence. Um, yeah, I've definitely improved a lot in my times and even just mentally I've improved a lot with my racing. So yeah, I think this year's going to be the year. <laughs>